friends welcome back today's topic is types of failures in flexible pavement and their causes and repair techniques failures in flexible pavement can be due to the failure of its component layers which undergo distress due to various causes types of failures in flexible pavement and their repair techniques are discussed in the further types of failures in flexible pavement and their repair techniques in general the flexible pavement consists of following component layers those are subgrade subbase base and surface cores instability in any of the layers will result in complete failure of the pavement system this makes it necessary to construct each layer with utmost care and precision there are different types of failures in flexible pavements determination of this failure and its reason is necessary to facilitate correction in mix design and construction for the future project types of failures in flexible pavement due to exposure weather condition changes in weather imposes distress in flexible pavements use of chemical and salt in colder climate the frost heave and stripping of asphalt is due to snow and ice will result in pothole and other distress the ultraviolet rays make the pavement to undergo oxidation and bring it to a brittle state on a hot sunny day the pavement temperature can be up to 140 degrees celsius this is the softening point of liquid asphalt this will make the pavement to expand and move water through the cracks water can enter to the base and the subgrade which will result in the structural damage vehicle load and petroleum the fuel spillage coming from the vehicle deteriorates the integrity of the pavement this increase the softening point of binder aging of flexible pavement is a life cycle deterioration of the pavement this results in highly accelerated oxidation and crack formation types of failures in flexible pavement due to distress the distress faced by the pavement can be of two types one is environmental distress and another one is structural distress the outside influence that affect the pavement performance are categorized under the environmental factors these include snow chemical water and problem with the aging the structural are categorized as the physical failures that are found on the pavement and the subbase these structural failures are occurred due to overloading wet subgrade frost effect lower standard of design this kind of distress is found from the bottom types of failures in flexible pavement due to structural distress in that the first one is alligator cracking of flexible pavement here the shape is like the skin of the alligator that's why it is termed as the alligator cracking the alligator cracks are also called as map cracking this is a fatigue failure caused in the asphalt concrete a series of interconnected cracks are observed due to such a distress the tensile stress is maximum at the asphalt surface this is the position where the cracks are formed that is the area with maximum tensile stress second one is depression in flexible pavement there are certain area in the pavement that are localized and have a lower elevation compared to the surrounding pavement layer these lowering are depressions found on the pavement they are mainly noticed only when they are filled with the water one is corrugations in flexible pavement the corrugations are distress seen in the pavement at a regular intervals in the form of a ridges and valleys fourth one is showing a form of plastic moment that is seen in the form of the wave is called as the showing distress these are also observed perpendicular to the direction of movement of the traffic one is potholes in road surface where a portion of same has been broken away cause a disruption by the forming a pothole these are also called as kettles
the pavement fatigue is the main reason behind the formation of potholes the occurrence of fatigue cracking will interlock to form alligator cracking these gunks between the cracks formed in the pavement will become loose and will be picked out under continuous loading and distress sixth one is rutting of flexible pavement the depression formed in the surface is called as the rutting this is formed in the wheel path surface this depression will make the other side of the wheel undergo uplift as shown in this figure and seventh is swelling of flexible pavement these are distress that long and gradual waves these can be 10 feet long this swelling distress is characterized by the uplift bulge in the pavement surface pavement cracking in the next series of distress that is seen after the swelling so these are some types of the structural distress types of failures in flexible pavement due to environmental distress in that the first one is bleeding so bleeding in flexible pavement is a phenomenon of formation of a film of asphalt binder over the surface of the pavement surface is called as the bleeding the occurrence of bleeding will give shiny glassy like reflecting surface the layer will have bubbles which are seen as a blisters the asphalt binder formed will be sticky in nature second one is block cracking in flexible pavement this is also called as thermal cracking the cracking is happening in the form of blocks these cracks are interconnected making the pavement to divide into rectangular pieces third is bumps and sags pavement surface that is localized small in area that has undergone an upward displacement will be named as a bumps these are caused due to instability factors of the pavement several factors contribute to the bumping formation they can be caused even due to the buckling of the or bulging of the concrete slabs this edge cracking of the flexible pavement in unconfined asphalt pavement edge cracking is found to occur during the compaction process of the pavement the edges will start to yield especially when there is no sort of confinement like curbs or edge barriers joint reflection cracking these are cracks that are observed in flexible overlay or a rigid pavement the rigid pavement joints that are underlying experiences these cracks raveling the dislodgement of aggregate particles will result in the disintegration of the hot mixes asphalt progressively from the surface to downward direction this failure is called as raveling this dislodgement in the loss of bonding between the aggregate particles and the asphalt and this longitudinal and transverse cracking this distress can be considered as either in a structural or an environmental distress the longitudinal crack are formed parallel to the pavement alignment or center line of the pavement thank you